Hi and welcome back. In our last video we went ahead and formatted this top div right up here with the logo in the social media area. In this video we want to go ahead and format our top navigation here. And if your top navigation is actually up in this area here, don't let that worry you. We're going to correct that problem for you. Now first thing I want to go ahead and do is take a look at our completed project here. And you can see first off these elements are lined up side by side instead of being on top of each other. Second thing you're going to notice is the background color is different and the font color is different. There's also no underline underneath your links here. And there are a few other differences obviously in the hover area right here. So let's go ahead now and set this up. Now first thing I want to go ahead and do is change the background color of this area and make sure that my top nav always is below both my social media and my logo. So I'm going to go ahead and actually top nav here is coming before banner and sub banner. I'm going to go ahead and drag that on up in here just so that everything is in the correct order. And I'm going to go ahead and change the background color to being a dark gray. And that's background dash color. And I'm going to make it the dark gray is going to be all threes. And remember whenever you see all the same number there or letter, it's going to be some shade of um, or your that color is going to be some shade of gray. And to make sure that the top nav is always right below and not up inside of the top div, I want to use the clear statement here. I'm going to say clear both. We'll save that and take a look at this. And you can see not a lot of changes, but you can see that that area is now filled in with that color. Now the next thing that I want to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and format these elements so that they're in line as opposed to side by side. So I'm going to come back in here to my CSS and let's try this out. Let's go ahead and we're going to target the top nav div and specifically we're going to target unordered lists with list items. And just like with our social media icons I'm going to change the display property to inline. And we'll save that and see where it leads us here. Oh, you're going to see still there's really nothing going on there. And if I preview this in a browser, voila, you'll see a difference. If I was to have just depended upon design view to accurately show me the way this is being laid out, I'd be deceived. So make sure you're always previewing things in a browser or I can close that and reopen that file and now you're going to see it actually refreshed and it's showing that to me um, correctly. But I need to do a few other things here in order to make this top navigation work right. And specifically I need to format the container, the UL container oops I'm sorry the UL container that this top navigation is in. So I'm going to go ahead and create another style call it top nav and this time I'm just targeting the unordered list. And first thing I want to do is again specify that this should always take up a hundred percent of the available space in the outer container which in this case is the wrapper. I also want to make sure that the elements are floating over to the left here and I want to remove any margin space that might be on that um, container. And then finally I want to go ahead and make sure that the background color always appears as that same color of gray. So I'm going to go ahead and specify did I get the right number? Yep, I did. 
you got to make sure you have the right number of digits in there. So I'll go ahead and specify the background color of that. And save that. And let's go ahead and look and see what we've got here. No real changes, but you can see things have been spaced out just a little tiny bit. Now, right now, these links are right next to each other. And that's hard to see because of the font color. So I want to change the color of my links. Now, links can have five distinct states to them. You can have the normal state of the link. You can also have the visited state of the link. And those are the two most obvious ones. A normal link is a link you've never clicked on before. By default, it shows up sort of in that browser blue color, that navy blue color you've probably seen before when you've clicked on a link and then gone back and looked at the page with the link on it that after you've clicked on it sometimes links change their color and in a default or a page that doesn't have the link color set at all that would be a sort of a shade of purple so again we can format the way a link looks initially we can also format the way a visited link looks the third state would be the active state of the link. The active state of the link is the state of the link when you're actually in the process of clicking on it, when it's being clicked on. And you don't see that too terribly often. The default is for it to turn red, the link to turn red. And then finally, we have actually two fairly important states. One is the hover state, and that's the state of the link when the mouse hovers over it. In the case of our example, when we hover over the link, the background color is going to change to red for us. And then finally, you have the, the uh, focus state. And you've seen focus before on a web page, but you may not have realized what it's called. When you've visited a web page, especially a web page with a form, and you've used the tab key on the keyboard, you've probably noticed that some elements get a very light dotted line around them. And you can kind of tell, okay, that's where the focus is on the page. And that's all that focus is, is it's how does something look when the keyboard is focused on the element. And for sighted users, that isn't very important. It can be a nice visual clue. It's people that are using screen readers. You can set the focus for something a little bit different so that it calls something out um, for the screen reader. We're not going to get in as in depth into that um, or keyboard accessibility in uh, this series, but just be aware right now that there is that fifth state there. So I want to format these links that are in the top navigation area. So I'm going to go ahead and come back into my CSS here. And I'm only formatting the links that are inside of the top nav. So obviously I'm going to start off by doing number sign top nav. Now a link is inside of an A tag. So you would do top nav A and that will target the link. But we want to specifically target the different states of the link. The normal state can be targeted by doing colon link after the A. And I'm going to go ahead and say color is going to be white. And the other states you can work with in exactly the same way. I'm just going to copy and paste that in four more times. And we'll do visited, active, hover, and finally focus. And the only one I really want to change here is going to be the hover state. And that's because I want the background to become this red color right here. So I'm going to go ahead and in the top nav a hover style, I'm going to go ahead and say background 
dash color and I'm going to go ahead and pick a color and we'll use the custom option here and pick a nice dark red. So there's a nice dark red for our background color. And let's take a look at this and let's see again probably won't show up in Expression Web's design view but let's go ahead and preview this in a browser and you should see your links are now white and sure enough when I hover over them the background has become that red color. But we still don't actually have boxes around the elements. And that's the last thing that I want to go ahead and add in here so that we've, we've actually got some spacing um, around this. So I'm going to go ahead and come back into, let me go ahead and close that preview, and I'm going to come back into my style sheet here. And specifically what we want to do is just focus the, on the links. But again, we're going to specify top nav, U-L-L-I-A. And I'm going to do a few things to make these items um, look like links. First thing I want to do is float them all to the left. So I'm going to say float left. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some padding around the actual link. I'm going to say there should be 10 pixels top and bottom and 20 pixels left and right. And when I go ahead and go into main, again you may not see it here, but if I preview this in a browser, there I go, I now have my links working. Now you can kind of see here where there's no real divider between the banner below it and the top div above our top nav. And here you can see very visually there's a white line there and there's barely a perceivable gray line right there. And Actually that may not even appear in the video right now. Let's try putting some lines on this area to see how we can differentiate it. I'm going to come back in here to styles and I'm going to go ahead and Here's the UL, and I want to go ahead and put a border on the bottom of that. So I'm going to go ahead and say border dash bottom, and I'm going to go ahead and say that this is going to be a um, three pixel light gray solid border. We'll save that and preview this in a browser and you can actually see it right there but let's go ahead and preview that in a browser and there we go we can see that line there already you can see our design is starting to come nicely together now you may or may not want a gray line up at the top but if you did want whoops if you did want a gray line up at the top you can accomplish that by putting a border on the top div. So I can say border dash bottom. I'm going to say one pixel, a very light gray, and solid. Save it. And now let's go ahead and preview this in a browser. And you can see that line right there. And again, you may or may not like that line. Um, I'm going to take it off for ours to make sure it looks, to keep ours looking like our sample. But that is a visual option that you may want to play with. And actually, all these options you're going to want to play around with and try different things and see how the uh, design reacts um, to them. So, so far we've gone ahead and we've formatted our top div along with our logo and our social media. And we've also set up our top navigation area right here. The banner here really doesn't need any formatting. Remember, later on we're going to add the fading effect for, 
but for right now we just want a static picture. In the next video I'm going to go ahead and format this subheading area right here along with my content area, my sidebar, and my footer. And at that point you'll see that our design completely comes together so that it looks like what we're going for right here. So I'll see you in the next video.